Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. And today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So we're coming up to almost episode 70 on this now, so that is absolutely crazy. But yeah, today we've got um, two systems, some Burin games. Um, the YouTube users, I, they're not actually in my Discord, they sent this on the YouTube comments. And actually, speaking of sending stuff on the YouTube comments, I'd just like to point out as well, if you have sent one and I haven't done it, just keep reposting it on um, newer videos, just so I can, it's at the top of my comment feed, because if you post it on an older video and then not post it again, it will just get lost and I'll never be able to find it. So, yeah, if you um, if you are not in my Discord and you want to send a system in, make sure you send the link to the workshop every sort of few videos just so i can keep up with it because it's absolutely crazy how hard it is to just catch up with the stuff so yeah just go ahead and do that if you want your system to be featured if you are not in my discord for any particular reason so yeah we got two um from burin games today so yeah they're on um these were sent over a week ago actually i've had to really scroll down to find these because i remember they were sent but yeah well, i found them but yeah don't don't make me go through the pain of scrolling down for hours it's crazy well i'm being a little crazy but yeah it takes quite a while to find these so yeah please take that in note if you are sending them in just send them in every few videos or de definitely send them on these videos because that will make it easier for me to find stuff um but yeah anyways getting into this the first system today is called the heck hekililu i'm hope i'm saying that right here it is here if i go to uh, subscribe on the workshop stuff so here it is here so let's see what Bearing Games has got for us. And also, I'll leave a link to them in the description as well. So yeah, here is their... Um, so the Hekililu with Moons and Rings. Super Nightcore System. Nightcore System is a system with 96 or 145. Or, okay, so a lot of planets, basically. All right, so yeah, there we go. Let's actually look up here. So simulated, we've got 38 objects. And then we've got a lot of... Uh, I guess we've got a lot of asteroids and stuff in here. So let's zoom all the way in to the star itself. And let's see what we got here. So... It's like a pretty big system in size. So we've got, yeah, starting off with seven masses of sun here. Pretty big radius. 185 size of sun. This is a pretty big, um, pretty big, um, star by the looks of it. Let's get a quick comparison with the sun. So there it is there. So yeah, makes the sun look really, really small. So yeah, there is that. All right, moving on to the first planet. Let's see what we have got here. So first off, we've got a not, ooh, ooh, look at this. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Look at those rings. Wow. I'm liking the colour on that gas giant. Not seen anything like that before. That is a very nice um, rainbow gas giant. Not as many bands as the crazy banded one, but this just shows you don't need crazy amounts of bands to make a cool-looking rainbow-like object. I mean, there's a ton of cool colours on this. Look at that. That's a very nice um, gas giant, I'd say. Very, very cool indeed. So, yeah, there is that one. So, voila. Looking good with the pink rings as well. <laughs> very cool. All right, so next up we've got Kilo, or Kilo Master here. So this is a blue, a oh, nice blue object. Also rocking with some crazy rings. I'm guessing um, Burring Games likes their rings. So yeah, it's got a moon as well right there. Let's go on a realistic mode so we can get a more realistic look to it. So yeah, there we go. So those rings are pretty cool. Right, so where are we heading next? Okay, we've got a big gap to Rater Centauri over here. So it's a purple object here. Purple and white colour scheme on it with a bit of red, as you can see there. Right, moving on to the moons. We've got um, one moon there, and then the second moon here. That, ooh, look at the colour on that. Liking that. The cyan in the blue. Or the, the, it's more of a purple colour, isn't it? Yeah. The cyan in that looks awesome. Wow. Really, really do like that. Right, so there we go. Looking awesome. Right, where are we heading off next? Another giant um, jump. So this object here doesn't even look like it's orbs in the object. Is it in a binary? Yes, it is. So here we go. So there is this one. So how large is that? So six masses of Earth. And it's also got a moon around it right there. So that's a very fancy colour. A lot of fancy colours in here. Then it's also in binary of this. And this is a beauty as well. A nice yellow and turquoisey sea green colour. That is a nice looking object as well. So there it is. A lot smaller than the other one as well. So there is that. And then lastly, we have a nice um, indigo violet sort of colour at the end here. So there is that one. Getting really dark as well. How far away from the, away from the star by now, anyway? Let's have a look. So from the star, a quick eager look. So we are about 390 AU away. Wow, that's pretty far already. Right, so continuing to zoom out. So we're going to opaid packs over here. So this one's also in the binary. Um, it's completely dark here, so we'll have to go on a uh, studio mode. So that is there. So it's a dark green and blue one there. Interesting color choice on that one. Pretty uh, green and blue. Dark. Huh. All right, then we've got um, Fur Fursura. 
I'm so bad with pronouncing things, but yeah, here it is here. So a little small little one there. Right, and moving on to this one. So there's going with a blue and an orange. Look at the blue on that. Oh, it's a nice blue. Um, then we have this one. He really likes his fancy colours, doesn't he? A lot of um, crazy ones in here. So purple and blue object there. Moving on, we've got a um, 3046 Urino. Little asteroid there. Rightio. Right, now moving on to this one over here called Loris Chorus. So here we are here. So there it is. So that's a pretty interesting green and white colour. I like that one. So there we are. Right, then we have Loki Locally Haban one here. So this is a, look at a very interesting lime green and purple. That's a pretty wacky choice. Damn. All right, um, then we have Nap. So we have a blue and black color scheme. Then we have this one out here, XDO55. Then we have, oh, look at this. Damn, there's some crazy colors. Fund, Fundagu over here. Drea. Then we have KGO or JO there. And then we have a Make Make in here. There's a Make Make. Oh, I can't even say this one. Yeah, but we've got this one here. That's a pretty uh, Valentine's looking object with all the pinks, the reds, the purples. Well, more, mostly the magenta, pinky, red colours. That's looking cool. Then it, has, it looks like it's an escape moon over here going with a green and cyan colour scheme there. So there are those. Alright, so they're also really far away from the star. So next up we've got a few more. It looks like he's got a lot of binary orbit stuff um, hovering around as well. I don't know if that's intentional or not because some of them... This one is tiny, but it's still in a binary orbit with this object here. I'm guessing he just doesn't have enough mass for the parent planet to hold the moon, so it's sort of got a binary orbit. Sort of like Pluto and its moon um, there. And then we have um, those. All right, so, yeah. Th these remind me of Pluto and Charon. So, here are those. Rightio. Any more gas giants, I'm wondering? Uh, and then we've got Yeri over here. Then Pulf. So, a lot of frozen ice worlds here. We've got three in a row. Then we have Telly Telly. Out there. They're moving on again to Dock 774. And it's an Io. Oh, look at that. So it's a giant Io. Has this got any moons around it? Let's uh, zoom in here. Still got more objects out. It's got a crazy set of rings. Two sets of rings on it. So it is there. Oh, it looks like he's got a moon texture on Io to give it more craters. Look at that. That does actually look pretty cool. Does Io normally have that many craters? I'm sure it doesn't. No, that's, I'm sure that's got a moon texture on it. Let me spawn a moon in quick. I want to see this. Uh, moon. There we go does look a bit like the moon texture the dark side of the moon looks it definitely reminds me of this it look, definitely it does look similar to that because obviously io if we spawn an io in io doesn't have that many craters i'm pretty sure on it that we can see yeah, there, there's a normal io so i have that many normally look if we look at the difference you can see there's more craters added to it it's definitely got um some upgrades on it but i wonder if that's a mercury maybe it's a mercury texture it's definitely a mercury or moon uh, one on the nest though, but yeah, looking good. We should get um, a crater texture added to Callisto, for instance. That'd be quite cool. Saucy Callisto has a ton of craters on it, but the one in the game is doesn't do it justice, I think. So that'd be quite cool, actually. Yeah, someone should make that. A, a Callisto with a moon texture or a Mercury texture to get those craters. So yeah, anyways, moving on now. So that's Dock 774. So that's in a binary with the star itself. How is that in a binary? This guy is not that large. All right, and then we got... Next one out here called Ponk Linky Joel over here. So this is another gas giant. So the second gas giant of the day right here. It's, um, going for green, white, and a black sort of color theme um, there. So there we go. All right. Anyways, zooming out. A lot of scrolling here. A lot of scrolling. Got really far. Right, even more. Oh, my God. Look how many there are. Okay. That's the last one there. So we've got this one here. Oh, and I remember this. This is that cool-looking dark blue Venus. I've got a copy of this one. This one is cool. Let's uh, zoom in on it. It's not going to get any sunlight on it, but yeah, here it is. So there we go. I like, that is a really cool, um, thick atmosphere planet right there. Really like the color on that guy. All right, so anyways, moving out. Let's see what we got next. So we've got red light color over here. So has this one got red city lights by any chance? Let's have a look. A realistic no there's no no city lights that we can swap there so i wonder why he called it red light color all right anyways there we go it's got a custom trail color on it look well, it looks like it anyway so zooming out okay last object of the system is this one here 
Ooh, and to end it off on a high note. Ooh, looking good. It's very. Oh, I like that. It's like a tropical looking gas giant. It's really wobbly out here for some reason. It's not me wobbling the mouse. I'm not even holding the mouse at the moment. It was still doing it after I did it. But every time I scroll, it wobbles. It's really weird. But yeah, that is a nice looking object. We'll look at it in the menu here as well. I like the green, the light blue, the yellow. That's a nice tropical sort of looking object there. I have to say, very nice indeed. But yeah, that I I want us. I think that's it. Is that all of it? So zooming out, a lot of scrolling. Okay, so yeah, I think that is it. So let's get a line up of them all, and let's have a look here. So here we go. So moving in. So here are our gas giants. My favourite is definitely the first one we saw. That is really cool. But I really like, like that last one we saw as well. They're definitely my top two in here. And then for rocky planets, ooh, I don't know. There's a lot of them. Um, let me just uh, zoom down here. It's really, really wobbly. What is going on? Why are they all, like, glitched inside each other? Is this a broken broken system? What is going on? So look at this. What is going... I have no idea. I did like that one. But... Oh, where'd it go? I just clicked on it and it disappeared. That, that pink one. What the heck? Do you see what's going on, guys? Oh, my. That pink one there. We're looking at it right now. That... But when I select it, it changes. But, yeah, that pink one there I did like. Oh, my God. This is crazy. And I did like this one as well. Yeah, they're my top uh, rocky planets. But anyways, let's leave this system behind because it is very, very buggy with the wobbling around. All right, so anyways, moving on. The next system, I've got it in my open simulations here. So my search so it's called the Ketchup system. So um, here we go. Where, where is it? Um, oh, it's K-E. Let's see. It's K-E. I'm oh, My spelling is off today. I just completely had a mind shut. Yeah, I K-E-T. I knew it was. I just have to double check. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's open this up and let's see what this second system is. Ooh. All right, so I modded four. Look at the background. Look at the background on this. Ooh. So the modded four. Okay, so let's head to the star, to the diamond star. Wow, I really, this background is it's pretty uh, peculiar stuff. All right. Oh, it's also got a disc around it. Okay. So yeah, here it is here. So this is the diamond star. So there are its stats there. So it's pretty big as well. But yeah, moving on to the first planet here. So here we go. Right. So here it is. So um, Mercury-like object. That background is really, really cool. It's very unique without any stars. Right, there we go. Let's turn this um, off as well. Right, so what even is this gas giant? So he sort of made his own little version with all the crazy colours. I'll, I'll compare it with what even is this. Why not? Um, so what? There we go. So we have this one here, the original one. So that's it compared to that. But obviously, the original one isn't fully a gas giant, you got to remember. It's just got, like, a weird texture on it. So, yeah, but he's got he's definitely got the colour. I'd definitely say he's got the colours on his gas giant correct with that. So, yeah, not bad. He's definitely got the colour choices on that pretty spot on there. So, yeah, there it is there. Looking pretty cool. Got a lot of green on it in the south as well. Look at that. Right, anyways, moving on to the moons. Whoa! A cube? What is this? Oh, my... <laughs> it's a dice. It's a dice. Look at the dice. You can see the six square or circles. What is this? <laughs> oh, crazy buddy. Yeah, you're definitely right on that. Wow. So he's got, what even is this? But yeah, it lives up to its name with this. I mean, what What the heck is this? I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Some of the things people have made with this texture. Oh, damn. Then we've got glitch city lights. Okay, so has he got city lights on here? Apparently they're glitched. Why are they glitched? We've got some in the daylight there. Oh, yeah, they are in the daylight. Check that out. So, they are in the daylight. Maybe it's because there's more than one star in here. I'm not sure. Is there more than one star? I don't want to spoil the object, so I'm not going to look at the uh, list of objects. And then we got the Migo over here. So, this is um, more of a purpley blue color. Right there with like a reddish, pinkish, um, low elevation there. Rightio. Then we've got Truna over here going with a Neptune blue. With a bit of regular blue in it as well. All right, so there are those. I did like that. That gas giant's cool though. And that dice especially. All right, he's got a battery sensor in here as well. With some um, things to keep stuff in binary. Okay, so here's the second star. Yeah, this is this is probably why the planet has city lights on both sides. Because obviously, while it's projecting the lights on the opposite side of the diamond star, it's also putting lights on the opposite side of this star. So they sort of appear on both sides. Um, if that makes any sense. But anyways, moving on. So first up, we've got Fata over here. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Look at those bands on it. So this is one of those um, gas giants with atmospheres by the looks of it. So that's what it looks like underneath. With some city lights as well. A creamy atmosphere. 
looking good. I do like these objects, I have to say. The atmosphere, the gas giants are really, really cool. Alright, next up we've got Ceres over here. Also rocking the city lights as well. So yeah, got a bit of city lights in the daytime here as well. Looking good. So that's Ceres. Okay, and then we've got Planet 3 over here. So it's like a random spawn gas giant by the looks of it. So there is that one. Then we've got the Munger over here with a yellow and black. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's looking really... Oh, it's really dark here as well. Look at that. So it's got on a flashlight. There you go. That's looking good. Very, very nice. All right, moving on. I feel like I'm saying that way too often. All right, anyways. Um, I believe that is it. If we, um, is there anything further out? Oh, okay. So that is it. So let's get a... Okay, so you're not the most objects in the world, but damn, we have some interesting ones. So let's get a lineup of this system as well. And yeah, let me know, guys, in the comments, which system do you think is better? Because I'm pretty sure I'm the creator of this, um, who I'll leave in the description as well, Burring Games. I'm pretty sure they'll be interested here. We have to say on their work. But yeah, I really did like this gas giant. That really did get the colours right. And as we'll see, he's got the dice here. Look how big the dice is as well. But yeah, that's a pretty cool object. Yes, yeah, so that's that is my... Um, well, it's the only gas giant in here, so it'd automatically be the top one. But out of all the rocky objects, I did like the um, glitched one. I, just, I do like the red on that, I have to say. So it's between the red and this one for my favourite rocky planet. I think I'll go with the red one, though, as my top pick for rockies in here. Because obviously I can't include this as a planet in any way, because it's just... What, what even is that? I mean, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So, yeah, there we go, guys. But... Yeah, that is a beauty, isn't it? I do like that. So, yeah, there we are. So, let me know what you thought down below in the description as well, guys. And, yeah, we're coming up to episode I think it's, uh, 16. Yes, this is episode 68. So, we've got 69 and 70 coming up. So, both of those are already booked up, though, with um, ones I've got to do. Oh, and we've just hit 6,600 subscribers. And when I started recording, we didn't have that. So, yeah, massive thanks to that, guys. We literally just hit that live on the recording here so 6600 closing in on that 7000 so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already helps on the journey to 7000 because damn it is going up absolutely wow one is wonderful wow just cannot thank you guys enough and we're also at 2.5 million views overall as well so that's crazy so yeah there is that but yeah just a massive thank you for watching as well guys and yeah if you've got any systems to send in currently in my discord they are on uh, on hold for sending in because I've got way too many to go through, but yeah, if you are, remember, if you want to send stuff in from on the YouTube comments, make sure to continually send it on each of these videos, so I'll eventually see it, because it's really hard of the amount of comments that go through, reading through all the comments and from all the videos at once, it's really hard to spot the systems, so yeah, definitely keep um, posting your system links in the um, comments to these videos, because it will definitely just makes everyone's job way easier, so yeah, definitely keep that in mind, but yeah, Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video as well, guys. And, yeah, that's everything. So make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.